find what I'm saying? So stand up, clean up, and tell the enemy to shut up. Yeah, yeah. all right? How much time you clean, man? Uh, 740. Give it to all. All right, all right res resentments. We talked about rejection. I mean, I'm rejecting help. Uh, what's the next one? Um, how about complaining and blaming? Complaining and blaming. Oh, okay, Ray, what's your, what's your name? Jackie. Jackie, what's up? You complain and blame? Kind of goes. I blame myself, but the gentleman said he's back. I'm 56. I was 49 when I stuck a needle in my arm. Hmm. And 49? 60. Uh, seven okay. years I've been using. Okay. 49 when I stuck a needle in my arm for the first time. I didn't snort it. I figured if I'm going to do it, do it right. Mm -hmm. I stuck a needle right in my arm. Okay. But anyway, I don't blame nobody. It was a choice I made. Mm -hmm. Just like I choose to get out of bed every day, I chose to stick that needle in my arm, not for no reason. And I, I blame myself for the situation I am with my kids. It is better now. I have family sessions since I've been here, and we're working on it. We're speaking. I haven't spoken to my one daughter in 15 years, and things are going real good. Mm -hmm. real good. And, you know, I speak to them on a regular basis, and like I said, things, I had a family session. It didn't go too well, but we're working on that. Okay. And, but, yeah, I've came a long way. That'd be good. How much time you have clean? All right. Come on, sis. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank you for saying that. Come on. Yeah, I used to do a lot of blaming, and I still do sometimes. And the reason why I blame others for my addiction is because I don't. I just simply don't want to address what I need to address that makes me get high. I don't want to do the work. Okay. You know, I want to do everything my way. So when I fall, I'm always blaming everything on everybody else instead of blaming myself because I'm supposed to know what works and what doesn't work. Right. So that's the point I'm at now, where I'm willing to do what works instead of always pointing the finger at somebody else when really that's not even reality. Really the finger is pointing at me. It's just that sometimes I don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. But when I come to that realization, that's when I can start to grow. Okay. Go full. 
Thank you for sharing that, yo. A lot came up from complaining and blaming. How about remaining ignorant? Remaining ignorant. Who know what that is? To remain ignorant. Who, who, who don't understand what we suffer from? That's what I'm talking about. The, the, that's right. The disease of addiction. We got to know what it is. What are we fighting? It's insidious. Who know what that word means? What does it mean? Never know what, what does it mean? Like it's right. It's insidious. Very good. How about baffling? It's sneaky. Sneaky, right. How about cunning? That's cunning. That's like sneaky. Intelligent. Intelligent. Very good. And crafty, right. And that's what we suffer from. And listen, if the disease of addiction moves that way, how can we what? What's the antidote for the disease? Recognizing. Arrested. Who said that? Come on. What's your name? Mitch. Hey, Mitch, what's up? How's it going? How you doing? Well. Okay. <laughs> um, so how do you arrest it? You, uh, you do the 12 steps of, um, of, you know, a 12-step program, Alcoholics Anonymous, one Okay. By uh, finding higher power, like, you know, working with other, with other addicts. Fellowshipping. Yeah, do fellowship. Okay. Uh, I, how much time do you clean? Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the maintenance program, I don't really. Okay. But I've been, I've been here since uh, since July seventh, so about a month. All right. All right. Hey, who understand that? Listen, the, the the flesh, the flesh want to get high. To add on to what he was talking about, I had to, those who read the Quran or read the Word of God or any text, you got to find you in the books. I got lust issues, so I found David and Bathsheba, Samson and Delilah. For the ladies in here, want to learn how to be a woman. Surah 4 in the Quran. Yes, and the word of God is you know, Proverbs 31. The virtuous woman. How she thinks to how she walks. Anybody hear that? And, that, and, that, and that's the ingredients for me, for me to stand up, look the faces of the disease of addiction in the eye and say, not today. I will surrender to you. I will listen. I will not entertain you. I will what? Defeat you. By feeding what? My spirit. Because the flesh love drugs. So we got to put our flesh to bed so the spirit can what? Resurrect. Spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. Stay in those books. Read, study, and apply so stinking thinking can die. How about this right here? Um, environment. Do our environment plays a part? Yes. Is that important? Mm -hmm. Why you say that? It is important because you have, to, you have to differentiate what's good for you and what's not good for you in your environment. Okay. Like the people you associate yourself with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you also have to learn, like, you know what I mean? Like, my with my environment, like, I know that everybody's not out to get me. But some people do have my best interest at heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I could differentiate, like, who's for me and who's against me. Mm -hmm. Like if like like if you're not doing nothing that's going to conducive to my recovery or trying to teach me how to see if I had I had a thing where I want I want to know how a person got clean and how they stayed clean and how they got to that to that 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 point where they're successful. That's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I have to. I have to stick with the winners. I have to listen to the people that I know is going to guide me in the right direction. That's right. Very good. I'm going to sign you clean. I told you already. Oh, you spoke already? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. One and two. Come on. Um, what was it again? Oh, we're talking about environment. Oh, people, places, and things. Yes, ma'am. You got to stay away from the same people, places, and things that you were around before that, and that are bad for you. But do you believe that we can be our own people, places, and things? Yes, like, I believe right. that too. Right. Stuff. Yes. right. So if your mind stinks, you could be at, a, at, the, at the library. Right. You find what I'm saying? Right, so you don't have to be at the deli to go get high. You could be be thinking about getting high right at the library, yeah, doing something right. positive because we take us anywhere we go. So we got you know, the first attack is two attacks in my life. The first attack is always internal. Mm. Me against who? Me. Mm. Right. And if I lose against me, mm. I don't need to worry about y'all. I lost already. Right. It's always two attacks, all right? And we always take us where we go. Come on, brother, right here. Environment for me is like here. I'm able to detox myself off of fentanyl, even though the doors ain't closed and, and you're not in jail. But in my house, I can't do it because the environment around my house is all very infested. So, the environment plays a big part. Very be good. How much time you're clean, brother? Um, month and 30 days. Uh, month and 16 days. All right. God bless.
quick. We almost at that time. Solutions. Meds. You don't need to call the insurance. These are free medications. I take these. 100 milligrams of prayer. Anybody pray? Yeah. Very good. Who remember foxhole prayers? I hope this coke ain't soap. I hope this dope is dope. Who had a gun in their face? I got robbed. Hope he changed his mind. Hope that gun jam. Like, yo, who has sex unprotected and prayed that we didn't get up with the alphabets? Foxhole prayers, right? Who was driving dirty and you saw sirens behind you? Yes, but they kept it moving. They wasn't even thinking about you. Foxhole what? Prayers, right? Who was dope sick and you prayed you didn't get locked up stealing or boosting? <laughs> Foxhole prayers. Now our prayers are what? Sincere. Or if you're in jail. Huh? If you're in jail, please get me out of jail. Yes. What's your name? Frank. Frank, how much time you got clean? Today I got 90 days. All right. <laughs> so say a prayer. Help me. Guide me. Shape me. Correct me. Protect me. Forgive me. Help me. Lead me. Protect me. Build me up. Prayer. Huh? Keep me clean. Very important. Prayer is sincere today. After I pray, I gotta be patient. Who working on patience? Why is patience important? By the wall, my man. Wait, come on. Why is patience important? She come and call me up guard. <laughs> what's your name? Patience, Mike. Mike, what's up? Patience. Why is it important that you be patient, Mike? Um, time is things I must earn. Okay. I hear you, Sean. <laughs> come on. Um, patience for me. Very good. Very good. You working on being patient? Yes, sir. How much time you have clean? Um, 90 days. 90 days. 90 days. 90 days. Behind you. I see her. I see the hand back there. Come on, what's your name? Kamisha. 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 Patience. Why is that important, Kamisha? It's important because um, I have going my way as well and like when they had exercise today like but when I, I make a whole if I'm outside I make us at home I make a schedule and I like to do things in my time you know stuff like that like I didn't have to I wouldn't have to go to yoga class or boxing class when y'all tell me to go and like I'm waiting to do something like go to vending go, I could be outside go get my own shit you know what I mean mm -hmm. or working and make my own money and do whatever I want to do and go to the gym whenever I want to go to the gym and you know stop and you know just have patience doing stuff I don't know how to explain it but clearly like what she was saying if you outside you can do it whenever you want when you want but in here you gotta be all patient and stuff right exactly so yeah this place prepares us for independence yeah Right. right. It prepares us for independence. How about perseverance? Who have drug dreams? I had one other night. You get high in your dream? What's your name? I didn't get high. Huh? Paul, what's up, Paul? All right. You have drug dreams? Okay. Do you talk about it? You think God is just a dream? Yes. Now I do. Okay. <laughs> That's good, Paul. How much time you got clean, brother? All right. All right. God bless you, brother. Come on, sis. Listen, in the drug truth, right? Because I didn't used to get high, you know. And I was telling her that, right? 
that like I never you got high in the drugs. I uh, it was like one time when I first came to recovery, I chased a bag of perks to hell. Like it was crazy. But I, <laughs> the last ones I got high. Uh, and then it's, 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 every time I have this, like I feel like I I'm at this place and I get kicked out. Uh, but the last time when I said Bar years ago. I kept having the drug dreams and I got kicked out of Gardenzia in the dreams and I got wake up like in a panic and I got kicked like remember I'm still here and stuff like that. And I really didn't end up getting kicked out of it. So like the shit scares me here because it's like I'm having different dreams, but I fucking have it and I end up getting kicked out. So I gotta be like, like remember like I'm still here. And like I don't know if they premonition or dreams. Because last time it came true and it happened just the way that my dreams was going. Mm -hmm. So like that should be scary to me because I don't think I'm a psychic enough, but I do have a certain type of gift. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's scary. I don't like having drug dreams. I don't like dreaming at all sometimes, and that's why I take that medicine and it don't really work that much because my dreams still come through. Mm. But so I don't like dreaming. No, um, yeah, to stop my dreams. Okay. And I don't like dreaming because a lot of the stuff in my dreams come true. So when I dream about shit with my kids and stuff, it drives me crazy. Mm. So, um, yeah, like, I don't, I hate, I hate drugs. I, and I, like I said, I think it used to be high, even, but now I'm starting to get high, even. Okay. And so I think just a reminder of what we don't want to go back to. You look at it like that, all right? Thank you for sharing that, both of y'all. Come on in the back. What's your name? Hey, Brandon. I got horrible dreams too. Mm. The first time I ever heard that right there. Thank you for sharing that, brother. How much time you got clean? Uh, all right, all right. All right, y'all gotta move real quick. All right, so we got prayer. Stay patient. Persevere through all storms. I don't give a damn what happens. Somebody dies, stay clean. Getting high can't bring nobody back. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Humility, working on being humble today. Asking for help. Is that important? Yes. Yeah. Very good. How about honesty? Who still want to get high? My man right here. What's stopping you? No, no, behind you. My man right here. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? Just thinking about my kids, man. Very good. Very good. I'm going to sign that clean, Aaron. 17 days. 17 days. <laughs> Who still want to get high? Why? What's stopping you? Um, My kids, all the time I've been here, I don't want to go out there and it's... It, I just... Yeah, worked hard in here for nothing, and mm. yeah, I just I'm, I do mindfulness. I close my eyes, picture, hit, I hit it, and but then after that, afterwards, the the bad outcomes from it. I, right. That's what I do. Right, play your whole tape through. Yes, yes, very good. Come on, what's stopping you? Huh? Death. Very good. Oh, thank you, my man. What's your name? Yeah, how much time you clean? 25 days. 25 days. You still want to get high? What's stopping you? Tired of being homeless. Tired of being homeless. Actually, how much time you got clean? Uh, almost four months. Almost four months right here. What's stopping you from getting high? I made a promise to my Promise to our family and to yourself. Very good. What was the promise? That you done? I'm done getting high. Awesome. Come on. Health. Your health, very good. What's 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 not what's um not uh, I'm real strong like it used to be about you. Your health, like what? Is like, your kidneys? Like my 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 endurance. My um. health is okay. okay. All right. Little function, all that stuff. Got you. Okay. Thanks for saying it. And get high again and just make it even worse. 
Thank you for saying that, brother. In the back, what's your name? Marwan. Marwan? Hey, how you doing, brother? Uh, very good. How old are you? Young man. Young man. You want to start your own business? What you want to do? Hey, my man. Very good. How much time y'all clean? Nine days. They got a program called Bridgewater, Bridgeway, for, for uh, the high school, for those who want drugs and alcohol. That might be something you want to probably check that out. Who still want to get high? One and two. Come on. What's up? Yeah, come on. What's your name? How you doing? Okay. Okay. But thank God you're here. Right. How much time you have clean? Ten days. Ten days. Right. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Can't hear you, baby. Do not want to follow to the definition of insanity. Very good. What's your name? Lene. Lene, how much time you have clean? Uh, all right. <laughs> Come on. I don't um I, I don't wanna cause I don't wanna lose me. Like, That's I don't right. wanna get out no more because I don't wanna lose me. I lost myself enough. Uh -huh. And then it's, it's my health. It's, it's my health. Concern it's concerning my health. And it's also, like she said. Concerning my sin, uh -huh. I don't want to lose my sin. Okay, thank you for saying that. How about forgiveness? Is it for them or for us? Uh, Easy said than what? Done. Surrender. When do we surrender? Every day? Everything. Every All day? Yeah. Is that important? Yes. yes. Very good. How about acceptance? Who accept the fact that that lifestyle is over? Who accept that? That, all right, what happened to the individual who don't accept that lifestyle is not over for them? What can they happen? Back. Either die or go to jail. Very good. Everybody hear that? you die, yo, you'll be back in it. How about purpose? Who know their purpose? I know my purpose. What's your purpose? My purpose, my purpose is um, for my um, kids, family, myself first, my higher power, and what I want to do in my future and my success. Okay. And stuff like that. Yeah. Very good. Purpose. My purpose is to take care of me. Take care of you. Purpose. My purpose is to take care of my kids. Very good. Purpose. My purpose is to help other people to open up my group home to help younger teenagers and kids that don't have money. That's going to invest in the future at home that feel like people don't care. And of course, to be a mother to my kids and stuff, and I, I feel like my purpose, I went through all of this just to be a testimony to help other people. Amen. Well, God bless you. Come on. Purpose. Myself and my grandchildren. Yes. Self and grandchildren. Who else? Only purpose. Come on. Purpose. Anybody? Come on. My purpose is to stay alive so I can help somebody else. Very good. Come on. My purpose is to take care of myself so I can take care of my 81-year-old mother and my seven grandkids. Mm, 81-year-old mama and grandkids. Purpose. Who else? Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Our condolences. Purpose. Come on, my man. You know, to teach, you know, become self-employed. Teach, be self-employed. Yeah. What's your name? Darnell. Darnell, how much time you clean, Darnell? Uh, 30 days. Give it to all. <laughs> the last one is love. Everybody love themselves today? Yes. 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 All right. Okay, very good. And I love y'all. We come in love and leave in love. Real quick, those who need housing, who need housing? I need that Wendy Williams number. I don't know her. I mean, she, she le I know her, but she She'll left. Her. She ain't there no more. Write this down, yeah, because you know COVID blew a lot of things away. Real, real quick, y'all. Housing, um, rapid housing, sixteen oh eight Walnut Avenue. Walnut, okay. Rapid housing, rapid housing, sixteen oh eight. Huh? I don't got no pension. Walnut Avenue. Walnut Avenue. Walnut. She right up front. She on the same. Walnut Street. Walnut Street. Downtown. Right. <laughs> you got a number for yeah, that? Walnut. No, you got to Google them. Sixteen oh eight Walnut. Walnut Street. Yeah, Walnut. Rapid housing. Rapid, it's called Rapid Housing. R-A-P-I-D? Yeah. 1608 Walnut Street. Sweet 600. Next one. Next one, y'all. R-H-D. R-H-D. Resource of Human Development. That's the case manager, right? What's that for? That's for housing. For housing, but I had her. I had a case manager. She was an R-H-D worker. Okay. Project Home. Put that down. 
Don't laugh at the chicken chicken. Project Home. I'm good. Man. Pathway to housing. I know about that. <laughs> Pathway to housing. I know about that. We're about half. Always bring a problem. Who? I don't know. I ain't heard about that. Pathway to housing is better. You ever heard of that? Uh uh. I think Pathway to housing is better. I Because what they do is they put you in an apartment, right? They put you in an apartment at Pathway Housing. Oh, women, y'all. They put you in an apartment at Pathway Housing. Um. You they help you, kind of they know, they help you get your right. social, your SSI, your disability cut on. They pay your rent until all that happened. They give you vouchers for TVs, bedrooms, and all that shit, yeah. Right. And right. Pay, it's called Pathway to House. Pathway to House, all right? Hey, 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 Jobs. 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 Yeah. Can you repeat those three names real quick? All right, um, um, R-H-D. Project Home, Project Home, and Pathway Homes. Project Homes. You, you're doing too much. I'm, I'm still using my name. Right yeah, and Rapid Housing. Right. I just need my space. Okay, she was talking about Pathway to Housing. I was talking about Pathway to Housing, y'all. Pathway to Housing. They help you. They, get, they put you in an apartment. They help you get your disability or whatever cut off. While you're in their apartment, you don't owe them nothing. They give you vouchers for furniture. Yeah. They give you TV, bedrooms, like they give you food vouchers. You do it, you do, you gotta go to school every week. They give you $150 a week to go to school. You understand what I'm saying? All right, anybody looking for jobs? Me. All right, here we go. For those who've been locked up, JBS. Mm -hmm. JBS, I'm a social worker. Oh, yeah. 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 JBS, that's a slaughterhouse. You don't have to kill the animals, you can work on the tractor trailers. All right, okay, that's the, you pay $18 an hour. That's 215. 723-5555. That's JBS. That's a slaughterhouse. Amazon is one. I heard of that. 215. This is for JBS, the slaughterhouse. 215-723-5555. All right, that's that's um, JBS. You know Walmart is hiring now, too. Walmart? Walmart is hiring. Okay, Walmart is hiring. All right. Our number Amazon? one is Samuel and Sons. You say Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Google them. You find them um, one location, pay twelve hundred twelve hundred dollars for bonus. Okay. So they said they um, opened up a new location right in Southwest between yeah. sixty and seventy seven. Oh yeah. That's what's up. All right, and that's more jobs. Hey, for those who've been locked up, Uplift Solutions. Uplift Solutions. You get a hundred dollars a week. You get a weekly pass. Six week training and you guarantee the job. That's called Uplift Solutions. All right? Job. They work at ShopRite. Oh, okay. Yeah, they work at ShopRite. Yeah, all right? Let me see who else. On site staffing. On -site. site staffing. That's on Fifth Street. You yeah. get it hired right away. Fifth Street? On Fifth Street. Okay. What about on site staffing. What about the one you was talking about over oh, top of the no, huh? Oh, oh, that's BH10. Oh, BH10. That's BH10. Uh -huh. That's the place you go take classes. Classes. For what? All right. Where is it uh, at? In this field right here, Norcane Training. Where is it at? That's at um, Spring Garden and Delaware Avenue. What is it? It says Spring Garden and Delaware Avenue. Rivers. It's the same place we even logistic care, where we used to go get monthly passes oh, okay. from. okay. It's on the eighth floor. What? All right. OVR, y'all. OVR. For those who want their CDLs, they pay for it. OVR? OVR. Yeah. Occupational Vocational Rehabilitation. OVR. OVR. Okay. They pay for barber, for barber on clippers, what? salon the supplies. Okay. Vocational what? Oh, yo. Uh, What's the number? OVR. They are Aven Market. I don't have a number. Okay. OVR. New program. No, I'll bring it next week, though. I'll bring it. I'll have it all typed up next week, okay? All right. My number, for those who leave it, my number, 267 815. What is it? 267. 815. 815. 02. 30. That's Derek. Mine's the men. Call anytime. Derek. D E double R I C K. 0230. Right. 0230. All right. Okay. Yeah. He be here next week. Hey, I love y'all. Who woke us up? God. Grant us serenity to accept the things we cannot change. The courage to change the things we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. Amen. All right. God bless you, brother. Yeah. All right. Here.
You can call me. I'll do it for you. Okay. Write my number down. When you, let me know when you want to do it. Okay. All right. So just call me. Let me know when you want to do it. You want to call tomorrow or what? Yeah, I'm going to call tomorrow. What time? What time you want to call uh, got three day on the show, so. Okay, what time you buy? your phone time? Uh, it don't matter. Just tell me time. I'll call you. Let's make it at ten. Ten. Perfect. And what's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Ten o'clock. We wait yep. for your call. Okay. Yep. God bless you. Yes. All right. Like <laughs> Thank you um, so much. You are welcome, sweetheart. Great. That does that. Try or just put old dad down. Old dad. Yeah, old dad. Because she was right there at old dad. Um, um, one day at a time. That was great. Help you with the first month. The last and all of that. I can Google that. Yeah, get old dad number and call them up and ask them about Wendy. Or, you know, Wendy Williams and who's Wendy Washington. Wendy Washington. Wendy Washington. Yeah. Wendy Washington. Yeah. That she helped used to before the COVID. She don't think she worked anymore. No they used to help us um, get apartments. They first um, security and last. They pay for it. Oh yeah. And yeah. What's it called? It's um Wendy. It's Wendy Washington. It's old dad. Good luck, so, man. I, 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 you're welcome, brother. Stay strong. You too, man. So I was telling old dad. If you go Google old dad, right. ask old dad, ask old dad about Wendy Washington. Right? Yeah. yeah. One day stand for one day at a time. Been better, been worse. That's a recovery plan. What's your dad's number? Do you know it? I don't have that number. Okay. All right. Just Google, Google, and put the one north. They got different locations. Try the North Philly at um, um, location. Right. 26 in Lehigh. Yeah. Right over I there. I think it's 24th, ain't There you go. One yeah. of one of those streets. All yeah. right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you uh, do you have the um, Uplift Solutions number? Call my partner Rob two one five. He works with them two one five seven seven six two one five seven seven six seven seven six eight six eight six four two four two. It's Rob. Put Rob. Yeah, I did. Can I get a piece of newspaper off you? I need um, Rob. I need you, Rob. He was supposed to be bringing me a shirt like two weeks ago, but the, the oh, like a T-shirt. Yeah, one yeah. of those monster men shirts. Right. And he, you guys never came, so cause we could have had the, the fleas. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see if he come next. When you guys come next week, if he can bring it with him. Okay. That's probably gonna be like the last week that I'm here and y'all are here. Okay. So I where you going? Um, recovery house. I'm not sure where yet. That'd be good. If you need help with for programs, give I'm us a call. Definitely going to be calling. I'm definitely. Okay. Calling. And what's your name again? Lene. Lene. Here's Rob number. Okay. Thank you. You heard of Mercy Hospice? Yeah. That's a good program. It's a Mercy in. Um, Interim House. Let me Gibson. put this down. Gibson Foundation. They, yeah. yeah. Mercy Hospice. How much time you more need? You got Washington House. We do groups there too. Sarah, what's yes, sir. up with um um whosoever. Uh, Whosoever I heard that. Gospel mission. Is that in Chester? Um, no, nah, I thought it was on Broad Street somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, Germantown. I heard of that. I don't know too much about that though. Yeah, how about you yeah. know other? Um, you looking for programs? Across the programs? Yeah. yeah. There you go, Queen. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right. We'll wait, wait for your call, okay? Sorry. Yes. All right. Okay. Can we get you Joshua Chief. I'm calling the way yeah. out. Of I'll be okay to call him. Yes, there's no problem. All right, All right God bless you. Do you think he, do y'all say, does he still have the shirts? I don't know.